Shillong is painted with rich history, most of which is lost or buried. Some of the remnants that still exist are strewn in the form of old structures along with the memories attached to them. The busy and occupied polo area where the office of the Shillong Recreation Ground Trust stands at present with 55 acres of land is as busy as it was in the 1900s, but the cardinal difference is that in the past, the area witnessed loud cheers and claps from the crowd as they watched the horses race every week, putting all their efforts in catching a glimpse of the race or earnestly involving themselves in horse betting. In this episode of Shillong's Iconic Structures, we bring to our viewers the Shillong Recreation Ground Trust or the SRGT established in the year 1901. As one reaches the bustling intersection of Polo Point after crossing the bridge on the right, one can witness the JN Stadium complex, the spacious parking lot, the football field where players can be seen practicing, an upcoming park and a sports cafe. All these spots come under the purview of the SRGT. These areas are truly an iconic landmark in Shillong, utilized by the residents of Shillong for various purposes like football practice, shows and events on many occasions. Let us take a look at SRGT over the years. The European community in Shillong had a fully established club called the Shillong Club. The club was founded in 1878 to cater to the community's recreational activities, but there was an absence of playing fields for the desired outdoor games such as football, hockey, cricket and the esteemed horse polo. On November 12, 1901, a group of six British men, all of whom were notable residents of Shillong, namely P.R.T. Gordon, William Murdo Sweet, George Russell Rowe, Robert Harriet Henderson, Charles Howard Holder and George Loftus Gart held a meeting with high-ranking administrators and prominent citizens to bring forward proposals regarding the playing fields. The six men then decided to form a trust called the Shillong Recreation Trust in order to go about acquiring lands together with the business of purchasing land in the Umkra Valley for the playing fields. The trust eventually registered with the government on April 22, 1905. The SRGT appointed an agency in 1907 known as the General Sports Committee to conduct regular races, gym khana, football, hockey and other games on behalf of the trust. Of all the recreational activities, the most popular was horse racing, which began probably around 1910. People swarmed popular spots like the ticket selling points, the corral from where one picked a horse and the turf club. The area at present is the CRPF camp, which is an oasis in the congested polo area, but some of the remnants from the past are still well preserved, such as the watchtower from which back in the day a steward would watch the horses keenly and determine the winner. A tall structure beside the watchtower whose purpose cannot be traced back but some believe that it may have been the starting gate for the horses. An office room which is now the battalion's hospital. A long stretch of the ticket counter area. And the Shillong Jim Khanna Race Club which is now the station officer's mess. It may be mentioned here that the land was acquired by the CRPF as requisitioned by the government in 1969. However, horse racing was sadly discontinued as a result of the Syat team, also known as Tir or Archery in 1968 because the dividends were far less in horse racing as compared to Syat team. A despairing turn of events as horse racing was an alluring part of the history of Shillong. Well, in the old days, going back to the 60s, of course, as youngsters, uh, we loved the races, we'd go there very often. And then the football, of course, was very exciting. And of course, at that time, the first ground, there, was, there were no buildings. We stood along the edge of the field, on the sides of the field. That was how we stood. And if you couldn't see the ball on the other side, the whole crowd moved into the field. And when the ball came back, you moved back to the sides. Those were exciting days. And it was very, very nice. You know, there was... No traffic jam, there were less people, there, were, there was no pollution. It was, the days were beautiful really. In present times, all financial benefits that are derived from the events, the few shops and the parking lot all go to the expensive upkeep of the existing infrastructure as funds raised are not enough. The trust has to turn to other avenues for raising the much needed revenue. Financial support is provided to the Pintharum Kra Golf Link High Secondary School by the trust. The school stands on the land given by the trust. 
Along with that, the SRGT parking lot caters to the parking of hundreds of cars during sporting and government events and on normal days. It provides service to local and tourist taxis and buses. The second ground is especially kept free of charge for events like the Rongbiria Ukasi, several archery events of the Senkhasi and rural folk and other local games and sports. Some famous personalities who visited the ground during the British era were Lord Willingdon, the Viceroy of India, Sir Michael Keane, Governor of Assam, English footballer Stanley Matthews and English cricketer Dennis Compton. In recent years, former Prime Minister of India Indira Gandhi and Prime Minister Narendra Modi along with Indian cricketer Saurav Ganguly are said to have visited the ground. As of today, there are four board members in the SRGT. J.M. Pariyat, Senior Trustee, ex-MLA and Minister. W. Roy, a well-known and respected businessman. D.M. Pariyat, retired tea planter. G.P. Walang, IAS retired and a Deputy Commissioner as ex-officio member. Nearly 120 years have passed since the SRGT came into being. There have been overwhelming changes over the years. The structures that once defined the area no longer stand the same. In the present day, it feels like an illusion to imagine the area with an abundance of horses from Dhaka and Bengal. Men and women dressed for the occasion to watch the horse racing, locals engrossed in betting and stewards in uniforms. The area extending from the main polo road up to the JN Stadium complex has witnessed a shift from the past. The history of the area still remains the same, some preserved while many have gone out with the ark. Friends and residents of Shillong, help us to make the polo grounds a beautiful place again. Um, a lot of the youngsters, of course, would not have seen Shillong in the 60s. It was a little heaven here on earth, really. So we, we, we won't be able to bring that back, but we will try our best to get close to that as much as possible. So we request all our friends, our youngsters, or the elderly, everybody. My one request is that, help us to make this place a beautiful place again.